Well guys, it is that time of the month where we go and look at the revenues of a whole bunch of gacha games to gauge whether they're doing well, not doing too well, or potentially end of service. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Lace. And this is a revenue video for the month of June. And so honestly, without further ado, let's jump into it. If you guys don't know what this is, this is essentially the Chinese video that I use every single time because Old Mate does a fantastic job at compiling all of these different stats across the different regions. And you will see very quickly, there are a couple missing, but the majority are going to be here. And so to recap this one quickly, essentially all of the data is coming from App Store, Google Play, App Annie, and Sensor Tower. However, with that, I believe we are going to get into the first game which typically is this one right here, Honkai Gakuen 2. And so the revenues, it's looking all right. However, before we go any further, I want to explain to you what these ones are if this is your first revenue video with us. Along the top, we have each of the different countries or regions. It's starting off with China, then it goes to Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and global slash NA. As for the rows, we have iOS, and as you can probably deduce, this one is Android. Sometimes there are a couple more, such as like PC client or Billy Billy or whatever. Uh, it will show up over here. These figures provided are in one, which means 10,000. And so the real number here is like 98 times 10,000. And that is going to also be in RMB. So if you wanted to translate it into USD, just head over to Google, type in like 98. For example, let me just take an example, 98 times 10,000, which is going to be looking like that. And then I'm going to type RMB to USD and you will find that apparently they made 145K USD. Not too bad for a significantly old game. All right, with that being said, let's get a move on with the video. So this again is Honkai Gakun 2, fairly old game. And then next we have Honkai Impact 3, which is, uh, wait a second. What the frick? What is these revenue drops, my guys? Because that, my guys, is pretty freaking significant. We've got like about 50% drop across all regions aside from China. And as always, if you guys do know what's happening, maybe there is the lack of an event, etc., etc. Let us know it down in the comments below. However, let's keep going. We've got Honkai. That's a, that is a dramatic drop. At least uh, China is sustaining, man. China really does love their Honkai. And next, we have the Tears of Temis which is experiencing a minor drop, but it's not doing too bad, especially for an Otome game. Now here's a real juice up. This is Genshin Impact and my Lord. <laughs> like this, my guys, is just absolutely insane numbers. There is actually nothing that even comes close to this. And the context for this one over here is that there was a new character, Yalan, which is a fantastic hydro unit. Next up, we do have On Myoji. So <laughs> I still don't get why the Chinese love Omyoji so much, but across the other servers, pretty healthy, relatively okay. But man, the Ch Ooh, that's a 41% decrease. Ooh. Ooh, maybe it's just like lack of an event or something. This one is just an Omyoji spin-off. So I guess not too much expectations. It's looking pretty stable. And then next we have Arknights. Uh, what the frick? Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is going on here? Maybe these revenues came off of like an anniversary or something, because remember that this is based on the percentage change from last month. So we're saying that um, 2751, it dropped by 79% compared to last month. Maybe last month was really good in sales because of limited characters, etc., etc. Again, if you know, let us know. And so next we have a GFL. Whoa, that is a lot of green, which is bad because it's negative, but it, is this is this inflation? Is this what inflation is doing to us? Uh, oh, this one is Project Neural Cloud, GFL 2. I don't know if there's a, there's no 2. It's just GFL Project Neural Cloud, and it's doing okay. It's very, very solid. 175, 350, uh, and a negative 3% change. Next up, we do have Azur Lane, and my god. What is going on over here? This is like, we've got some doubling numbers. We've got 2.5 times. China still seems to be doing all right, but like all of the other servers are freaking skyrocketing. Wow, nice. And so next we have Ethergazer and ouch, ouch. 84% decrease? I mean, like if you add that up, that's what? Like that's like 2.1 mil. No, sorry. So that's actually about 3.1 mil US dollars. I mean, that is a dramatic decrease, but $3.1 million for a gacha game, I'd say that is quite a big success still. And so next we have Love, Nike, and oh my lord, it's just green. It's just green everywhere. I guess I guess inflation really do be cutting out spending on gacha games, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this one is Shining Nikki, and holy crap, holy crap, everything, th there's been a lot of greens. There have been a lot of greens so far. Next up, we do have Punishing Grey Raven, and I'm not actually sure whether this is like inclusive of the Neo collab. For those of you who don't know, Punishing Grey Raven is very, very periodic. It's very cyclical. It's like, oh, 
every month and a half or two months or something, they get a new release. And so you would expect the revenue spike very like more, 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 more. However, generally speaking, it's still looking pretty healthy to me. All right, and so next we have Tower of Fantasy, which is still doing pretty freaking well. Considering a lot of people keep saying, oh man, TOF dying, TOF dead, it's clearly not dead. That's pretty freaking good revenues, my guys. Yes, there seems to be a decline of 25%, but that is still like millions and millions and millions of dollars in one month. All right, and then we got Alchemy Stars. Oh, look at that, my guys. That is some freaking impressive numbers and impressive growth. I actually cannot remember for the love of God what actually happened here. Is this the Persona 5 collab? Actually, no. I do believe this is the one year anniversary in which they had a new limited character. Very, very hyped up. Reinhardt, I don't think she's around here and there was also the release of the Genshin Light, AKA the Cloud Gardens. So that certainly explains that one there. And to be honest, I love seeing Alchemy Stars do well. I am like, I'm falling off. I'm falling off, but it is a fantastic game. Oh God, GCG. Oh God, those numbers. Oh no. Oh God. All right, GCG. Good night. Good night, Sweet Prince. This one is um, Final Gear, if I remember correctly and it doesn't look like it's doing too hot either. Next, we've got a pretty interesting one. I've actually had my eye on this one, Eternal Tree, and it looks like it's doing pretty average numbers. This one is the Korea server, not doing too well. The Japanese do like it a little bit more, but in China, it's kind of well received. However, in my eyes, in terms of like user player base, in terms of revenues, this is definitely in like the tiers of Temis, possibly Revive, which when it launched kind of tier, and potentially even pre-con levels of revenue uh, in global server. The China Chinese actually love Precon, surprisingly. All right, next we've got, uh, this is Mahjong So- Oh my lord, your star, man. Oh, I feel bad, bro. That is some freaking dramatic drops. Like, holy crap. Maybe, maybe last month had an event or something like that. Maybe there was no new content for a month. Oh, Illusion Connect. Illusion Connect is alive and kicking. You know what? That's, uh, hold up. What is, uh, oh, mm. All right, Ensemble Stars Music. Holy mother of God, like freaking Japanese do love their rhythm games, do love their otome games. What can I say? They freaking love their soft boys. They freaking love the male idols. And I'm pretty sure that a global server has released. However, it doesn't look like we have the revenue numbers yet, maybe for next month. All right, and so we are in the realm of some of the small, <sighs> I wanted to say smaller games because I saw Revive Witch, I saw Soul Tide, and then I saw this freaking revenue. That is not a small game, man. That is not a freaking small game. And so it looks like both Revive Witch and Soul Tide are kind of alive and kicking. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit surprised, but like kudos to them. There is a lot of passion gone into that game. All right, okay, I do see the Artery Gear Fusion. So that is about the pre-con numbers, about the Eternal Tree numbers, not doing overly hot in China. And so my guys, remember that this one is China only. I do actually have some of the US data over here. We'll have a look at it very, very soon. Oh, we have another interesting one over here. Bigger fantasy. Well, with the amount of money that they pumped into marketing, I really thought that they'd be doing a little bit better than this, but apparently not. My guys, what in the world is this one over here? It is a DNA game. It looks like a basketball game. I don't think it's Kuroko no Basket, but let me know. Again, with the freaking crazy revenues from Naruto as well as Naruto Online and Saint Seiya. Uh, a fairy tale, I guess, didn't age too well. It never freaking does. These ones are gonna be like the special games. So in special, they mean like launched out of China or launched maybe like in Korea, stuff like that. Uh, as you probably have noted before, all of those ones up until now were Chinese launched. And so to kick things off, we have Fate Grand Order. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. What the frick happened here? China must have gotten a really, really thick freaking banner because that is almost triple its last month revenue. South Korea's revenue did double for iOS, but it looks like on the side of Taiwan as well as NA, it's uh, it's seen a little bit of a drop. But man, dude, the JP bros really love their FGO Fate IP, man. All right, Guardian Tales, let's have a look. Uh, I guess inflation didn't hit him too hard because we do have a little bit of growth, although we do have a little bit of loss as well. Nothing really much to say other than the fact that it is going really, really healthy. Oh, although in its home country, it's not doing too hot. Oh, you're a pre-con, let's freaking go. And we do have solid numbers for NA, for global. I love to see it. But my God, Japan as well as China, they're doing pretty well. They are carrying the IP Maybe one day, I don't know. It might be copium, but maybe one day we will get to those kinds of numbers. Nah, there's, there's no freaking chance.
sense, dude. But overall, I think the pre-con IP is in a pretty decent place. Okay, we got Bang Dream. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of green. It's not doing overly well, but it's actually doing a lot better than I expected. What is nice, however, is that the global server is actually outpacing the Taiwan and the Korean server. But I guess these idols, maybe they're just not as popular in those kinds of regions. Oh, Maroka? Oh, that is... um. That is actually kind of good. But that, I guess, is not. Maybe the Chinese don't like Madoka too much. Hey, yo, let's freaking go. It is Shadowverse time. It is... What? What the frick? That is uh, that is almost triple revenue from last month. My Shadowverse bros, you're going to have to let me know what exactly... Oh, wait, no, that's a JP server. I guess it's... Uh... Unless you guys play JP, let me know. All right, and this is another Eden. Not looking too hot over here, although I do hear like this game is also pretty cyclical. But overall, that is uh, that is a very very healthy game. Uh, oh man, Yu-Gi-Oh, man, that's a that's a feels bad man. Minus eighty six percent, and then minus fifty four and minus forty eight for Master Jewel. Huh? I wonder why. We've got Love Live over here, and it's doing. That's actually doing pretty well for an older IP. And then we've got a blue archive. Man, those numbers, they always, they always, always impress me. However, I need to remember also that a lot of that revenue is actually attributable to the Koreans. But frick, my guys, it is good to see that the JP servers are still alive and kicking and kicking really, really freaking well. I think this dramatic decrease is attributable to the Miku banner, which most people actually did not pull. Now, my guys, I do need a little bit of guidance and correct me if I'm wrong, but I I don't think the Koreans are actually that into Miku. And so yeah, I think that is going to explain the NA slash Korea revenue. All right, next we've got Near Reincarnation. It's not actually doing too well in NA. I mean, I'm not really surprised and it's doing okay in JP. A lot of iOS players actually, predominantly speaking, like the Android revenues typically are higher than the iOS ones. But oh my God, what is going on here? And my guys, I don't mean these green numbers down here, but I mean, we got two new servers for Uma Musume. That is Korea server and that is Taiwan server. And this one only released for nine days and this one only released for two days. Holy crap, man. They are actually going to be doing well. So yeah, these revenue figures are going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be good to keep our eyes on this one here because that could actually blow up like freaking crazy. Maybe not to like Genshin levels, but it could get pretty freaking close. Next, we've got Toho Lost World, but I swear there was an NA server. Not sure what's going on over there. Doing pretty decent in the JP server. Server, however, not too popular in China. Okay, I think we're, uh, we're almost at the end. We've got World Flipper over here. Where's the NA server? I swear to God, there is an NA server for World Flipper. However, it looks actually quite healthy, especially for a Psy Games game. And Heavens Burn Red. Very, very popular game. Although I did hear the gacha systems are pretty, like, they're pretty hardcore. And so my guys, big shout out to your boy over here. Thank you as always for your service. However, there are a couple more that I do want to go through. And the first one is going to be Artery Gear Fusion, in which you can see it made 2 mil in the month of June. I'm pretty sure it made 2 mil in like a week or two or something. However, my guys, this one is only on the Google Play Store. If I come over, we've got another 700k from the iTunes App Store. And so honestly, Artery Gear Fusion Fusion is doing incredibly well and it's a pretty good game as well. Kudos to them. On the other hand, we've got Counterside pulling in 1 mil at the Google Play Store and then over at Apple Store, we've got 500k. 1.5 mil, that's not too bad considering it's kind of like cannibalizing from its own servers. A lot of US players actually played on C server. And then lastly, to wrap things up, we do have this spreadsheet. I can't remember the Reddit user. Uh, th thank you Reddit user for pulling this one together, but this is essentially a spreadsheet of the game that he is interested in. My guys, the first one that I did want to point out is the Diablo game in which it is only under Genshin. It freaking surpassed FGO. 14 million downloads, 38 million revenue. Freaking cracked. We've also got Project Sekai here, the JP server, pulling in 16 mil, freaking significant, and a couple of other mainstays. However, I do want to pull your attention to this one over here, Sino Alice. Wow, I thought this game was like, I thought this game was donezo to be honest. But apparently not because they managed to pull in $3 million USD last month. Otherwise, my guys, I think we've covered the majority of these games. As always, I will drop this down in the description below so you guys can have a look for yourselves. But that, my guys, is pretty much going to take us to the end of this video. My dudes, let me know if there were any surprising figures. Let me know if you do have any explanations for revenue. Like for Genshin, it was Yellow and Banner. For Precon, 
I'm not sure what happened in pre-con JP. <laughs> but for Blue Archive, for example, the US server, it dropped 48% revenue. I know you guys can't see that, but you can see it's 1.5 mil versus 2.9 mil last month. And again, this was probably because uh, I don't know, maybe the Koreans and the global people don't really like Miku that much. My well, guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving something, thank you guys so much. If you guys did enjoy this video or the content, please consider subscribing, leaving a like on the video, or even turning on that notification bell. However, as, uh, as this donkey once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.